it's me city girl and so you saw in last friday's video that russell and i well mostly russell brought in a dishwasher we are super excited about this dishwasher because who likes doing dishes not me not russell uh, so I wanted to do a little bit of an unboxing so that way you can see what it is all about. And I get to use my knife as well. I love this knife. Hey. Woo. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you inside so that way we can take a closer look at it. So I've brought it inside and as you can see, it's nice and small. It's going to go on the countertop by the sink because the water has to drain into the sink. Um, we purposely haven't been doing dishes for, for a bit so that way we can test it out however we need to still buy dishwasher tabs. So, open it up. I love it, it's like super cute. Like, this is it. This is it, this is no full-size dishwasher for sure. Um, I think also what we're going to love is the amount of water that we don't have to use when we were hand washing our dishes. We used a great big silver pot, hold up. This, this is what we used, right? So you can see, uh, how much does this hold? I'm not exactly sure. It holds a lot. But. This is four liters. So, and that thing takes five liters, so it'll be a little bit more than that. So is that less than that pot? It sure is. Mm-hmm. Rats. There's a knife when you need one. Oh, I found them. <laughs> These are shims because it's unlevel over there. It's not unlevel. Okay. It's not level, so you'll need to um, the one side. You'll need to shim up. So the, the way this works is you're just going to kind of slide these together and get the right height. Okay. Okay. So this is like a four-liter jug, and this is one point eight. So that's pretty good, actually. Nice. Nice. And what else do we got here? Got a little basket. Oh, and I think, you know what, we're not going to be putting pots and pans. Really, it's dishes, cutlery, the odd glassware. So, yeah. Really excited about that. Can't wait to try it out. All these hoses and stuff. Russell will figure that out. But yeah, so when we actually run it, we'll definitely show everyone. Where does the soap go? Um, I don't know. Because I'm thinking they, sh they should have sent, sent a sample if they wanted to use special soap. No. So the water goes. Oh. Huh? Yeah, the water goes in the top for sure. No, oh, open the door. Add detergent powder or a block. Oh, just into the machine, just like that. Yeah, so we're just gonna pour some of that stuff in. Sure, and we'll wing it. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you, my excitement of <laughs> getting a dishwasher. Oh my gosh. You know what, Russell and I, we talk about living off off grid out in the woods and sometimes we sort of catch ourselves right here we are we're out in the middle of nowhere deep in the bush and yet we have these wonderful amenities 
that we're totally grateful for. So stay tuned, stay tuned for part two of the dishwasher episode. You need help? be a lefty. My head's in the way. You know what? Yes, I do need help. <laughs> And a small plate. Let's see if, it, if a big plate actually fits. Like so. No, actually push the tree and see if it. Okay, all right. Okay, I have a piece of cheese in there. Actually, I gotta get some stuff off of that. Okay, so this is what we've arrived at after much jury rigging. Jerry freaking <laughs> playing with trying to figure this out. It needs to get more in there, but that's it. Uh, and how much do you think? <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna guess. Sure, guess. Not too much because it's you know a small unit. They swore those size of plates would fit. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> All right, did it. Press the button. And what are we doing, quick or? Quick. Let me make sure this is on. Quick. Quick, okay, quick. It's, it's already selected. Oh. Uh, and then, the, oh, play? Sure. <laughs> dishwashers have their old soap and why you don't just put regular dish soap in them. <laughs> we had a huge foam thing happening. There was so much foam in there, the little spinny things had stopped spinning. <laughs> uh, most of it came out fairly clean though in the end. Um, we're running it again a second time through. Let's be clear, someone was impatient and really wanted to try the dishwasher. Well, you wanted to try it. <laughs> Anyway, we're running it a second time on the same thing. There's still a tiny bit of foam in the bottom. We swapped out a few things that seem to be pretty clean. The, the cup's all got a healthy dose of clean. There's a few things that weren't clean. But I think it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be
exactly falling off the bone, but uh Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Nice and tender. Not falling off the bone, but they're nice and tender. They're a good bite there. Mmm. Sidney went to eat. He's hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry too. Come on. I could be brown, I could be blue, I could be violet sky, I could be hurtful, I could be purple, I could be anything you like. I could be brown, I could be blue, I could be violet sky, I could be hurtful, I could be purple, I could be anything you like. I could be brown, I could be blue, I could be violet sky, I could be hurtful, I could be purple, I could be anything you like. I could be brown, I could be blue, I could be violet sky, I could be hurtful, I could be purple, I could be anything you like. I could be brown, I could be blue, I could be violet sky, I could be hurtful, I could be purple, I could be anything you like. I could be brown, I could be blue, I could be violet sky, I could be hurtful, I could be purple, I could be anything you like. That was very good. You are something else. And that's the first time. Other than that little bit in the Band-Aid song where you're singing Squeeze the Turd. Squeeze the turd. Let them know his boots this time will Over and over. That's the first time you've heard City Girl sing because she doesn't sing. Even in front of me she doesn't sing. It's Monday. About 27 Celsius, about 80 Fahrenheit. Uh, humidity level is like a billion. Just walking around it out here and I'm just drenched anyway yeah it's Monday uh, City Girl has been here since Thursday so it's been an awesome long weekend with her here but she's got to go back to the city this work thing anyway uh, she'll be back again on Thursday because uh, for the rest of the summer she's she's got Fridays off which is nice so it won't be hardly any time at all before she's here again um, Maybe we'll do more singing or something. I don't know. It's been a good, good weekend. This morning we had a breakfast. Mwah! I made French toast, uh, scrambled eggs, but more of a crepe style scrambled egg, if that makes any sense. And sausages and, well, really just half a sausage each. <laughs> a couple of pieces of bacon and uh, blueberries. Uh, the blueberries are in season here. They're starting to come out, which is nice. And then, of course, maple syrup. The real maple syrup, not that that fake crap. Anyway, but now it's time to go. This weird weather. The weather report today was supposed to be rainy, thunderstormy, like all day. Uh, nope, seven and a half kilowatt hours into the batteries. <laughs> oh, it was sunny most of the morning. Into the afternoon, and then there's cloud cover, but we're still making 400 watts right now, which is great. Anyway, gotta go. Gotta take her out. But we'll see her again soon. Here's something we don't talk about very often. Because it's just not glamorous. Uh, originally when I planned to build a cabin, I, I didn't think about, you know, bathroom stuff very much. Uh, ideally, of course, we'd like flush toilets because that's what we're used to and they're, they're nice. It's just everything disappears. But I can't do that out here on bedrock. I mean, originally uh, an outhouse, I guess. You know, and I was pretty naive back then. A lot of people will buy the property, they'll build an outhouse, they'll build a workshop, and then they build their cabin. Uh, and originally here, 
Uh, you can see it in the early uh, or the mid 2017 videos that we did. There's a hole in the ground, and we did something very similar to this setup over the hole, which wasn't that bad because it faces the pond, so you got a beautiful view, right? And if there's a soft breeze coming off the pond, wafting your genitals, it can be really pleasant. But there's a lot of times when it isn't pleasant, like thunderstorm or 11:30 at night or <laughs> in the middle of winter. So uh, things kind of evolved here, especially when City Girls started coming here. And so we very quickly uh, uh, got a uh, got an indoor solution for at least peeing, right? So this this one stays inside, and there's just a bucket which I clean out daily. And it's it's fine. There's no smell unless you uh, you leave it for a few days, like you don't empty it for a few days. But otherwise, there's no smell. Um, and then we have a similar one on the well outside. <laughs> it's, it's, it remains outside just because of the smell, and uh, and that's not usually a problem either. Um, most of the time, it's I don't know in the winter time. I, I just bring it inside because everything freezes. <laughs> bring it inside, use it, take it back out. Anyway, this one, uh, I very thing to the top of it, the lid, or not the lid, Let's not it. I very thing this surface, it's actually quite nice <laughs> for what it is. I know, I know, I know, and there's a, cut a hole in it. Um, anyway, I wanted to remake the outdoor one because it's outdoors, it's, you know, sees the elements, it's, it was one of those soft, uh, cushy things, and they, they, those always rip in time. Uh, so I was going to make another one, and I, uh, I had this board I was going to use. Uh, it was for a different project. Um, I think it was in the kitchen, maybe? I don't know. I don't. And this this square section here is probably... Uh, it's a little bit bigger than this, but I can cut it down. And uh, I don't know, maybe verithane it. I've, it's already painted. I don't know if I need to do anything else. And I was going to do all this today. Except that the toilet seat I bought, uh, I thought this was elongated, and it is slightly elongated. It's a little bit bigger, but uh, as you can see, this one is a lot bigger. And while I like elongated toilet seats, uh, this one is perfect for our uses. So um, I'm just going to take this back uh, and uh, buy a smaller one. Buy the, the, the same one here, because uh, that one's fine. Uh, so I'm not going to get to work on this project today, unfortunately. Uh, which means the problem is, is of course, uh, I trashed the old one thinking I was going to go buy a new seat that day, but I didn't. And now I, so we ended up taking this one in and out whenever we want to, you know, do one or the other. Anyway, I got a, oh, I got a, I got a treat for the dogs. I got another project I want to do, but I can't find... There's a package that was sent to me, and I can't find it. <laughs> but I got something for the dogs. You'll like this. Just give me one sec. <clears throat> Gonna go use this bad boy. So I'm having a hard time filming because the fan on that charge controller keeps coming on. But uh, check out these bad boys. Got those at Value Mart for like six bucks each can you see them i don't know if you can see them it's pretty bright out here anyway <laughs> maybe i should have cut those in half because those are huge come here Jimbug. come over here come on over here right here right over here no all right over here come on come here okay now sit sit okay Oh, oh, well, get it. There you go. Yeah, right here. Come on, it's yours. Look at it. Oh, well. What do you think, Willow? I can't see you. Butt shot. Well, is it good? Stuff on there, huh? Well, hours of enjoyment. 
that's the idea anyway. Hours of enjoyment. Jim, Junebug took hers and took off. I don't know where she went. Maybe I shouldn't have given this to you on the deck. <clears throat> All right. Here, come here. Let me have it. Let me have it. No, no, no. Let me have it. Willow, let go. Let go, Willow. Down there. <laughs> have fun. Blech. There you go. Find a, find a shady spot. Okay. Right there, then. Good morning. It's Thursday. Uh... It's already almost 25 Celsius. What is that, 80 Fahrenheit? Going up to 33 Celsius today, that's gotta be the low 90s. And it's already, it's the humidity, I can feel it. It's, ugh, awful. Anyway, let me tell you about the horror show that happened last night. <laughs> oh God. Uh, I was at my computer, uh, playing a game. And Junebug came up to me, and she does that sometimes. She's just looking for some loving. That's fine. I, but I, I missed the message there. The, the Timmy's fallen down a well message, you know? <laughs> As there's something going on but uh, behind me. And if I'd heard it, I, I would have reacted pretty quickly. Uh, but I, I didn't hear it because there's a fan right next to me blowing air all over because it's so freaking hot, right? So I didn't hear anything. But when I finally got up, I got up to grab a beer and... Uh, there was like puddles of puke. <laughs> there was two huge ones, two smaller ones, and then a couple of other like I not quite done yet <laughs> piles. Oh, there's so much there. They they both had to throw up. They're, all their dinner came up. Um, I don't think it could have just been Willow. I'm sure Willow was definitely the the large part of it, but. Uh, in the puke as I cleaned it up, I saw all the pieces of bone from those treats I gave them yesterday. Definitely Willow chewed hers all up and swallowed everything. Some fairly big pieces of bone in there too. Ah, uh, what a horror show. If I'd heard it happening, I could have ran over and shooed her outside. But I did not. Uh, so, we won't be doing those treats again. <laughs> uh. Anyway, uh, today is uh, booked. I gotta get some vigorous in. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna get like um, three kilometers of vigorous in. And um, then I gotta tidy up some, do some cabin tidying up, because City Girl's coming here later. And I gotta go to town to the dentist, because I've lost a filling. It's like, I, I just went for a cleaning like a couple of weeks ago. And I was so happy because uh, they did x-rays and the, the dentist looked at my teeth, no cavities. I was like, ah. <laughs> and then like a week later, it's like, oh, what's this missing here? Uh, okay, so then and then I'm going to try and swap those toilet seats. And then i got to be back in time to pick up City Girl and then into the cabin. And so, yeah, that's my day booked. And I'm going to get on it. I'm not going to film a lot of stuff. Uh, just cause <clears throat> you've seen a lot of it before. I just thought I just had an epic discovery, and I thought I'd share this. I still I can't believe this. Uh, I had a bug jacket. My very first bug jacket that I bought lasted two summers. Um, uh, but lately I, I thought, oh, they've changed the quality of them because these ones. I mean, this one I opened two weeks ago, and it's got holes everywhere. It's got you probably can't see it, but there's a hole here under the underarm. There's a hole, another hole under this underarm. Like there's, there's, you know, holes along the sleeves, which is really annoying because, you know. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> oh, was it the wimpiest throw you've ever seen? Anyway, and, and it catches on everything. This material catches on everything. I thought, my first jacket never did that. Uh, even these these little things that they use for like the pull straps, you know, pull things tight, they catch on its own material. Like, <laughs> that's why it's tied up so crazy like that. So half the time I'm doing something and I'm like, it's pulling a thread, you know, from my wrist to the, I'm like, oh, I'm like, 
why don't these last this is you know this was brand new two weeks ago and now it's crap and the zipper's broken and anyway i was i was uh gonna pull out a new one there's a big long thread that's <laughs> i went to pull out a new one and i went oh wait a minute because years ago i bought a a bunch of boxes of these i thought oh, i'm gonna use these forever so uh i'm just gonna buy a bunch of them and what i discovered was i've got two different brands here um this is the old i found the old box from this other one two weeks ago but you know i i picked this one up i i I'd left it sitting there but i picked this one up and said whoa well, wait a minute this one's different why are these different so coleman is the one that i just wore for two weeks and it's crap already Kuglin is the other one so i pulled out this Kuglin one and wait a minute <laughs> this is a completely different material not only that but that is like it's just so much better uh, the qualities come better. I, I can feel it. You probably can't see it, but I can feel it. And uh, these ends aren't catching on anything. <laughs> like this other jacket, I, the tiniest little leaf would have caught on it. <laughs> you know? Wow, this is supposed to be large. <laughs> uh, how large? Like the mountain large? Like this is, you can get two people in here. But, uh, <laughs> which is saying a lot for me. I'm fairly large. Anyway, I thought I'd share that. I hadn't realized that that's what happened. This is definitely the, uh, the one I had first. The Kuglins one is that, you know, the one that lasted for two summers. Now I know. Now I'm going to go into the bush with confidence. <sighs> It's what, it's like 9.30 and the charge controller is already, the fan's already coming on. It's a little tight. <sighs> now, now I gotta go look up the price of these two things. See what I paid for them. Is there a price on them? Uh, I may have ordered it online. Um, I'll find out. Hi. Continue. I was saying that there are some really vicious thunderstorms when I left the city and I went through Starbucks, the power was out, so I couldn't get anything. Then I went to McDonald's, the power was out, I couldn't get anything. <laughs> oh, so did you get, you didn't get anything? Uh, yeah, I, off the highway I stopped at Tim Hortons, so there you go, Starbucks, McDonald's, Tim Hortons. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, I think it's kind of nice how at the beginning, near the beginning of the video you left and now near the end of the video, you're back. That's pretty cool. Yep. What'd you get behind you there? A toilet seat. <laughs> you gotta try again. This has to... Okay. Yeah, I turned it on. Oh. So if you remember, like a week ago, we tried this. Actually, it was just earlier in this video. <laughs> yep. It was a complete fail. Uh, so now we have the proper stuff. It's powder. Never used powder before. Have you used powder before? I've never used powder before. Okay. Um, so, uh, or it's the same thing, right? The 29 minute. Are we doing quick? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I put the water in. I put the in the thing. Yeah. This is here's the prize of We want this thing shoved back in the corner here, kind of turned in in the corner, perfect spot. But how the heck do you access the water thing on top to pour the water in? Like under here, like like you, <laughs> like any container I have. I mean, we have this much space. Any container I have, it have to be like a mug. Right, painful. Okay, here we go. Thing is it spinning? No, it's not. A little bit. There. 
a little bit more. Oh, there it goes. Okay. And? Oh, I'll stop you again. This is what happens when you forget to move the... the, the what is it called? The hose. The hose. You know. <clears throat> luck ever. Yesterday I got this tooth fixed you know, at the dentist. Happy it's done. It was torture. The whole thing was very, very bad torture. Last night another piece falls out from another tooth. <laughs> I swear I'm not a meth addict. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna check these. We let the cycles run. Oh, sorry, we're at the let the wash cycle run, it goes 29 minutes, and then there's 60 minutes of drying, which is essentially just fresh air being sent through the system. I see water spots, but that's pretty normal, I think, for dishwashers. I want to check one thing, though. Um, well, I want to check everything. I put the dish tray here just so I could take a look. I'll tell you what I need, though. Mm, looks pretty good. The bowls were in there kind of in an awkward way. So. Yeah, nice and clean. I'd... There's extreme bowl close up. Yep. And I wasn't, I mean, I gave them a little bit of a rinse before I put them in. Just trying to get them the particles off. I don't see anything, so... Huzzah for the dishwasher! Those are really the only things that I was worried about. None of this was... Oh! See a tiny bit of something on here. It's, oh, it's really stuck on. That's fine. Anyway, I'm pretty happy with that. Anyway, welcome to the end of the video. It's Friday morning right now, so... Uh, this video is going up and should be live later today. How do you like that for up to the moment cabin living? We'll see you next time. Oh, it's my birthday today. <laughs> so we're gonna have a special birthday live stream tonight, right dear? Yeah. She says, yeah. <laughs> special birthday books fest live stream tonight. So be there, nine o'clock Eastern Standard. We'll see you there. There she is. <laughs> is it, oh, you, your hands are full. Okay. Anyway, do the do a piece pea soup. Pea soup. Pea soup. Pea soup. <laughs> Thanks, sweetie.